And if he's alone like that, I can definitely manage him. It's just that he's way too bullet spongy. Did my TDO shotgun kill that one badass, by the way? Oh, 86%. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's try this. I guess it honestly never occurred to me um, just how annoying anointed enemies can be when you first enter mayhem mode. Because what I did with the other three characters after I beat the story was to just farm bosses. Um, or at least I did that on Moe's. On Flag I think I just... Um, con directly continued on to TVHM and then played that without mayhem mode. Um, on Amara I think I did side quests but also without mayhem mode. And then I only got into mayhem mode with all three of them once I reached uh, level 50. At least for mobbing. When I farmed the bosses I was of course also in mayhem mode. And so yeah, I can definitely see now why people are complaining about it. Because if you don't have farmed gear, they're really bullet spongy. Hmm. Yeah, let's use that, that might be good. Okay, we leveled up again though. One more point and then we can max this out. Hey, this actually does some damage. Wow, look at that. Okay, this TDR SMG is awesome. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be using that over the bitch. What level was the bitch? 38. I, yeah, I guess I can see why it falls off a bit. There's also this. I just wanna try this out. I never actually used um, a dull pistol with an alien barrel before. Is that a spiker? Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess it's kind of like a spiker in Borderlands 2. Well, okay. Ouch. Yeah, I should use this more often. That's really good working. You are almost as amazing as myself. Now it's time to put my movie on the big screen. That one. Go plug it into the movie shooter, okay? Okay, doesn't do a whole lot against shields, obviously. Ouch. Okay, let's try to just chuck some and it should home in on them. Yep, everything's dead.
Okay, even more enemies spawned you now. And I died to a DOT. Or went down at least. Just worse. You are the best vault hunter. Well, after me. <laughs> so you are second best, which is still pretty good. I will be famous now for a thousand millions of years thanks to you, Vault Hunter. I can never repay you, but I will try with all of these bunches of money I am now giving to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to practice my acceptance speech. <laughs> okay. Academy for this award for the best filmmaker in universe forever. This is great honor I am totally deserving of. My films are without doubting the highest quality cinematic excellence and I recommend you all watch them and enjoy them and learn from that. It is about passion and doing what you love. And then everyone will love you with a lot of passion, see? If you're me, anyway. <laughs> All you have to do is follow your dreaming. I followed my dreaming, and it brought me this. The award for best filmmaker in universe forever. Maybe if you follow your dreaming, you can do that too. Except uh, for I already did it, and it's forever, so <laughs> good luck with that. Okay, now <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick little break. Alright, I'm back. Now, since I don't want to move on to TVHM, um, it would be kind of ideal right now to farm some bosses for some better gear so we have an easier time dealing with all of those anointed enemies. Um, but I since I also don't want to farm during the playthrough because I think that's kind of boring to watch and there's really not a whole lot to talk about um, what I did is I copied my save file and just farmed Grave Ward a bit on that save file and put the items in the bank So, before we do anything else now, let's head to Sanctuary and pick up some gear. I didn't farm him too much, um, just leveled up once and picked up the items that I got on the way. Uh, which are a couple of legendaries. So, let's see... Yeah, these right here. The wag wagon wheel, I don't have space. Okay, then let's first <laughs> sell stuff. Also, I think I do still have some legendaries that I want to put in the bank. I can just place these here. What was that? Oh yeah, the big boom blaster. And this. Uh, let's put the infinity there. Uh, 
Okay, um, let's see. I think I can sell this stuff. Oh yeah, and we had this before. And we're level 42 now, so we can use that. Yeah, honestly, also gonna sell this. Oh, wait, what was that grenade? Okay. I don't want to use any grenades that could get me killed. Or just damage me in general. Uh, can we also buy... Oh, huh. We have a bunch of money. Okay, max out backpack space. That's always nice. Now let's see. Okay, there's the wagon wheel. Then the flood. This is level 43. But we're also gonna pick this up. Now this shield is kinda interesting. I also found this class mod. And... Yeah, the firestorm. Okay, this was just in my bank before I didn't actually farm that just now yeah I think that's it oh no the foursome that's right also got that and I guess we can grab this I didn't farm that but if it's there already why not and that's another big boom blaster And I also have these shields, but whatever. So let's see. Okay, these two items are 43. I wanna try this out. Um, this is probably gonna be really good. Yeah, this had the barrier anointment, but I'm not using that anyway. Uh, this class mod here is also pretty interesting because it's based around having your shield down. Um, what is this? Okay, movement speed for each action skill. And this is a chance to ignore bullets. Okay, that's a very small chance, but it's kind of like a uh, damage reduction, I guess, in theory. Hmm, I might want to respec actually and get, try to get more survivability, because right now we only have this, which is health regen. Um, this is lifesteal. And I guess this, but I'm not, I'm not really using that on purpose. If I switch places with the Digi clone, then it's just to either reposition the Digi clone or to get out of danger. I'm not really using that for the purpose of recharging my shield. And this hasn't been very useful at all. I mean, if I guess this could be more useful if I paid more attention to it, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like respecking. How much money do I have? Yeah, yeah, whatever. The thing about respecking in this game is actually that it's it seems to be based on your current um, money. 
So hang on, if I try to respec again now, let's see. If I put one point in here and try to respec again, it's now cheaper. So you can pretty much always respec no matter how much money you have. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to try out this class mod. Um, I have this shield. And these two would probably synergize pretty well with each other. Because this deals shock damage when it's depleted. And gives a bit of damage resistance. But... I don't know if I have the health regen and stuff to really make that viable. I can get another health regen skill here, then lifesteal and health regen from here. And I don't know if he has any more health related stuff in this tree. Okay, he, that's lifesteal on frozen targets, but we're not freezing stuff right now. Oh, and damage resistance, that's probably also good. This is just shield survivability, which wouldn't work with that. And I, ha I haven't looked at the augments for the barrier at all. Yeah, that's health regeneration. Huh, okay, hang on. Someone sent me mail, apparently. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> oh, and that's right, while farming I also got this. From Jacobs. And Zero sent us that earlier. Yeah, that's right, that sniper could also really come in handy. 50% bonus cryo damage, so I'm definitely gonna try that out. But I'm not sure now about the build. It doesn't say how much weapon damage and movement speed that gives you. I don't know, I think that's something I'm gonna try at level 50. And that 140 damage per second also doesn't seem like the most powerful thing. Yeah, let's use this. This also gives me more health regen. Okay, I'm definitely gonna spec into cooldown rate. Huh, and then maybe just into some shield stuff? I do really want to go down here for this. And of course also this. But I'm feeling like maybe a little bit slower approach to combat would be better right now. So not kill skill focused. Because that's a more aggressive playstyle. Uh, wait. I think I had this in slot 1. Yeah. Okay, duration is always good. And let's pick up this. I'm also thinking of simply not specking into the grenade skills. I'd lose... Well, the grenades do deal damage to enemies, that's for sure. But maybe I'm damaging myself with them a little bit too often. What's down here anyway? Grenade stuff. That. 
this seems really cool. And of course this as well. But I don't think I can actually go down that tree. Maybe if I took five points from here and only went down here. Yeah, this skill is annoying. I'm not gonna pick that up. Then let's just put points in here. That's movement speed, grenade regeneration. I guess this. Then that. Okay, I can go down here all the way. Hmm, but I'm not sure if I'm happy with that. So this... This gives me gun damage and it gives the Digi-Clone my gun. And I feel like that might be really powerful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that out. But the Digi-Clone dies really quickly as well. So I shouldn't pick this up. And maybe I also shouldn't pick this up. Because that's survivability for me, but it means the Digi clone dies more often. And this also this looks really powerful. But if you're gonna use that, then of course, that's not gonna work very well with anything else the DG clone gives you. Hmm. Maybe instead of this, I'll put the points in here. And then just... Uh, also use the Cryonova and try to switch places with him a bit more. And yeah, <laughs> the augments are bugged out right now. What is this? Okay, more shield means this gives me more of a benefit. I could do this, but I, then I have nothing for Sentinel. And that also kind of sucks. I guess I could try out the barrier, but I want to use friendly AI. I love Sentinel. And he, act he does actually deal a good amount of damage, at least thanks to this stuff. But yeah, if I don't go down that tree that much anyway... I mean, I could only reach as far as down here. Then maybe it's not even worth trying to go for damage on Sentinel. And the, the cryo damage alone, I don't think that's enough to freeze enemies. I think I should be using cryo as well then and together. Um, and maybe also with this you could efficiently freeze enemies. I don't know. Well the thing about the barrier is of course that adds a ton of survivability to you. And maybe that's what we need right now. Yeah. I think I I think I'm going to try out the barrier. Barrier together with Digi clone. And I'm not going to pick it up. I'm actually just going to stand behind it together with my Digi clone.
And so he gets more survivability as well. And I have a sniper rifle right now. The foursome won't work that well. But maybe I could use the wagon wheel or something like that. Oh, I also still have a level 39 one, that's right. Hmm. And then once we're 43, we can use the Firestorm, which is actually pretty good, I think. And we could also try this out. Well, actually, I think that TDR SMG is still gonna be better, simply because it's fire. And of course the chucking. Yeah, then I, I don't think I want this movement speed anyway. Okay, let's... Nope, not that. I guess I can also select an echo team because why not? Theme. <laughs> okay, let's respec again. Um, this... Then one point in here. I need one more point. I guess, honestly, just this as a backup if I ever need it. And this, this is also interesting. But I would only use that together with this to guarantee that I get the bonus damage. A lot of the times. So now I'm just gonna use this. Oh, and I, I need one more point. Hmm, grenades. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. Weapon swap speed is, of course, also cool. But yeah, let's pick up this. Okay. Then we'll try out the barrier together with the Digi Clone. And now as far as augments go. Oh that that could be great. Yeah, that could actually be really good because then I assume the Digiclo gets the benefit, um, the damage amp of 25% when it shoots through the barrier. And this would guarantee that the Digiclone also shoots through it. Okay, that's reload speed and that's more survivability. And also reload speed. Yeah, then let's also pick up this. And then for the Digi clone, well, <laughs> the, the Cryo Nova wouldn't work that well since I'm not engaging in enemies too much, but maybe if they try to get close to me and melee us. Yeah, I guess these two. Okay, let's try that out then. Uh, hmm, maybe I want to switch class mods. These two skills are both really good. This is duration, this is gun damage. And I mean, this is... It's also good, but I'm not gonna focus on killing things very quickly now anymore. What class mods do I even have? This is for freezing. Hmm, maybe this? But this is pretty much just pure survivability. Well, and this, but this doesn't really do much on its own. Now I think... Maybe this. 
That's meh, especially if I'm standing still. That would be a mix of damage and um, survivability. But I do want the duration. I think we're just gonna stick with our old class mod. Okay. And yeah, that's the foursome by the way. Shoots in this pattern and your projectiles converge at the end. And this deals quite a bit of damage. Oh yeah, and we have this now. Which might be interesting. We'll try that out. But I think this is gonna be... Wait, actually, wasn't this anointed with Sentinel? That's right, damn! <laughs> Build making, am I right? You actually get to see me in the process right now. I'm not gonna lie, I do I do this stuff with every single build I make. Much, much longer than this. I sit down and test many, many different ways to spec the character. Uh, a lot of gear, all that stuff. Build making is honestly the best part of Borderlands for me. I s With some builds I have spent more time um, thinking about optimizing them than I have actually use them to play the game. In Borderlands 2 that is. In this game I haven't done that much. Yeah, this ah, that's annoying. I want that 50% bonus cryo damage. Because that's a lot. And it, cryo also gets a bonus against armor, whereas non-elemental damage gets reduced. So that would also kind of work out well. But I do want to use the barrier. And of course Sentinel, you couldn't really get Sentinel to stay behind the barrier. Yeah, we're gonna try this out now. I don't know. Maybe I'll respec again. Let's just try it out. Okay, let's see. Um, don't we have quests on Sanctuary? There's all of this stuff. But that's it. Alright, then let's just pick this up. If anything, that's free XP. And then... I guess we could do this. Or I, I was I was on Devil's Razor, of course, and there's a bunch of side quests there. So maybe let's continue there. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, I don't have any quests there, but over here, that's the quest we drove by earlier in the playthrough with Brick and Tina. And that quest actually gives us a new fast travel location on this map. Or I guess you can get that without the quest anyway. Though I'm not sure, maybe maybe you don't. You probably don't. Or maybe you do. Welcome I don't know. Yeah, stop stop calling Zane a girl, please. 
You can accept this quest either from Tina or from Brick, but just out of spite, I'm gonna go to Brick now. Man, am I glad to see you. Could use a hand over here. Been setting up a new home base. But the COB been sneaking up on us, and it is tough. Freaking hurt. So I'm holding him back while Tina collapses the whole damn thing. She's up above working on a plan. Go help her out. Everything is under control. This one can be solved uh, with a bomb. But unfortunately, Miss Boom Bottom got stuck. And I can't knock her down. So I'm gonna need you to stop it. I'm gonna need you to stop it. Good. Yeah, that's like the, the, the second place in this entire game where you want to slam. Okay, that's a good test, I suppose. I think I didn't hit a single shot. Oh, Jacob sent me mail again. Okay. The radius of the barriers larger than I had expected actually. Okay, I could use my barrier now against this guy. Wow. Brick dude. Is Brick dealing that much damage to him? Or what was that? Well, Brick's still dealing a decent amount of damage. He isn't just a beast in Borderlands 2, I guess. Okay. Don't you want to, like, move away from there, Brick? No? Okay. That works to teleportation. Shoot her in the head, please, clone. Oh, I think he, I think he shot that guy in the face. Maybe? Maybe not. No, he definitely crit there. Nice! <laughs> okay, yeah, I like that. It's pretty much a safe zone for anything that shoots at us. And should something try to melee, I guess I can um, 
just switch places with him and deal cryo all that damage. Now the grenades, I'm not so sure. I might want to spec out of that again. Because if... The <laughs> I don't know if the clone throws the grenades directly in front of itself. That could blow me up. Poor Mordecai. Ah, we're just kidding. You're all right, Birdman. Okay, now we have a bunch of side quests from these guys and fast travel. Got a favor to ask. Hey, Vault Hunter, you mind coming to a birthday party with me? Kid's name is Grace. Flips her shit over Vault Hunters, so I figured you and me showing up will blow her freaking little mind. <laughs> Grab some of those flowers that grew up on the mesa on the way to meet me at the party. Okay. Now that quest. Guys, Jack, I've been thinking about the Crimson Raiders and bald hunters like us. I mean, we're sort of the only thing keeping this planet together, you know? Yeah, okay, hey. just turn around. Aye, 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 aye. Got a mission for you. Hey. Okay. So, uh, the quest from Mordecai. That gives us a legendary Jacob's pistol, so I'm kind of thinking about saving it for later when we need new gear, because that will scale with us as long as we're in mayhem. So maybe let's do this now. Okay, so I needed someone to watch my fuzzy shanks, little hottie boy, Enrique the Fourth, and I thought I could trust my bestie pet tag with my sexy exy Shiga, but now she won't give him back. But that's okay. I think she's just having some, you know, some sad times right now. Because, you know, I broke up with her ass. But now she's holding my Enrique like a cuddle hostage. So here, take these happy little heart decorations and uh, we're gonna go get my scarf back. Okay, great. Now get you over to Casa de Shiga. And then we're gonna brighten her day. Metaphorically. So, not, 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 not like with a bomb. I'm trying to solve this one with a smile. Alright, I also want to try out that shotgun. Oh shit, now I skipped that one. Not my favorite quest in the game. Okay, it wasn't really worth using my action skills for those skags.
Okay, is that always the same cage or is it like after you open a specific number of cages? That wasn't so hard now. Probably the latter. Okay, the shotgun isn't there. Also, kind of knocks enemies over. I know I'm like covered in scarred blood. Oh wait, does he deal radiation damage? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Okay, so that means um, with Mali one guns, he doesn't switch the element to my element or to the secondary element if that uh, if that's what I'm using right now. He always uses the first one. Okay. Hmm. For this shotgun incendiary would be better in most cases, but then again, maybe it's also good to just to have more variety of damage. So I deal incendiary damage, he deals radiation damage. Uh. In TVHM, radiation deals a lot more damage against shields. I'm not quite sure how much more it deals in normal mode. But I think it still gets a buff against shields. And so that would work well together with Incendiary. I wonder if that also means that he doesn't switch firing mode. So if I use a dial weapon... Um, and the first firing mode is burst fire and the second is semi-auto or something. And I'm using semi-auto, would he use burst fire? That's probably how that works as well. Are you done? Okay. I'm all for having cute pets, but <laughs> some people. <laughs> okay. 
Um, so there are more side quests over here. Well, that's just a trial. We'll pick that up later. But down here. Actually, before I go down there. This right here is its own area. And I get XP for discovering that, so I wanted to go down here. Okay. Oh, and there's also <laughs> the statue of Bloodwing. Now, down here is a radio tower. Yeah, okay, the foursome of course doesn't work that well with the AI. Because it has limited range. But it still deals a lot of damage when he uses it, so that's nice. And I guess I can pick this up whenever uh, I'm not trying to stand still together with him. Does that also make me immune to self-damage? No, okay. Okay, Torque also sent me mail. Let's check that out. Okay, whatever. Oh nice, you killed him. What did she send me? Oh hey, I actually didn't have that. Let's see, what does that look like? Oh, okay cool, I can put a Moxie skin on all of my weapons. Okay, yeah, that looks cool. Uh, now also I'm gonna make a quick cut. Alright, I'm back. So, uh, now let's see. Back there is the trial thing, whatever. But... Hmm. I guess we'll quickly pick that up. Can I teleport somewhere over here? Because I want to save Mordecai's quest, I think after that quest, 